a very good morning, good afternoon, uh, colleagues. Uh, it gives me pleasure today to represent the WASH Working Group in presenting our achievements and priorities for the coming year. Uh, next, please. Uh, the key achievements for the 2019-2020. Uh, we've developed the technical note for the integration of WASH and OCV in emergency campaigns, and that was done in close collaboration with the OCV working group. Um, and in, in this respect, we've established a human resource database of WASH experts to support GTFCC. Uh, we've developed a training uh, outline for WASH and uh, cholera, and this did include WASH and EPI, WASH and IPC, uh, courts, community engagement, and coordination. And just for you to be aware, courts were previously referred to as the rapid response teams or the RRTs, and the name was agreed with GTFCC in, in late 2019. Uh, we've developed the WASH COSTA tool, and UNICEF is supporting this project, and the first pilot is being implemented in DRC as we speak. We've developed the methodology for collection of WASH data in cholera hotspots and work is led by CDC. Finally, advocacy and engagement with donor community and global initiatives. Uh, next, please. Again, continue the key achievements. Um, UNICEF supported the consultancy with uh, EpiLinks and uh, this consultancy, including mapping of existing uh, and or ongoing research it did include identifying remaining uh, knowledge gaps, formulation of research gaps, funding and advocacy plans, including donor mapping and monitoring uh, and accountability framework. We continued, of course, convening regular meetings with a small research group. Uh, we've continued support to evidence generation, knowledge management and information sharing. Finally, integration into GTFCC <clears throat> Globe Research Agenda with the Wellcome Trust. And of course, the next step will be to broaden the research plan for WASH and cholera into the global uh, research GTC, GTFCC agenda. And more on that uh, is to come. On the priority areas, uh, that first priority commonly implemented and severely under-researched areas, uh, courts and other delivery mechanisms, minimum WASH packages, WASH and OCV integration and synergy, behavioral change, and finally, programmatic learning and case studies. Next, please. Um, quite frankly, we uh, plan to have a physical meeting uh, at the, in the first quarter of 2020 in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. However, of course, for obvious reasons, due to COVID with the travel restrictions, this never materialized. As a substitute, we delivered uh, three webinars from March uh, to May of 2020. Uh, the topics and the titles of these uh, webinars were extracted from the meeting's agenda. The first webinar was run on the 25th of March and it covered tools, strategies, and approach to support WASH in countries. The second was run on the 22nd of April. It covered WASH data in color hotspots. Finally, the third on the 13th of May and it covered ongoing research efforts. Each lasted for approximately one and a half hours and included the participation of about 38 participants. Uh, the report summary from each of the webinars is available at G GTFCC website. You can download it there and the evaluation report is available upon request. So please feel free to request it. Uh, next, please. Um, in terms of support to the GTFCC secretariat, uh, we've contributed to the GTTFCC global guidance, including cholera app and NCP uh, guiding uh, document. We've supported GTFCC secretariat to oversee the deployment of WASH experts to Zimbabwe, South Sudan, and Ethiopia, and finally advocacy and presentation during the World Water Week, and so forth. Uh, next, be next, please. <laughs> Uh, in terms of the priorities for the 2020-2021, which is going to be predominantly next year, they fall uh, under three key pillars, technical guidance, research and advocacy, technical guidance, finalizing the pilot, piloting of the COSTA tool of the WASH plans, launching the integration of WASH and OCV in emergency, and plan, plan campaigns, piloting the methodology uh, to collect WASH data in color hotspots under research, contributing to the GTFCC research agenda, strengthening evidence generation, knowledge management, information sharing and partnership um, for country, regional and global level, and finally advocacy, uh, 
continued advocacy and national with national governments and donors to prioritize investments in color hotspots and representation at country regional uh, meetings uh, and key events. Next, please. Um, uh, we take the opportunity to extend our gratitude to the WASH Working Group member, members for their invaluable work and uh, contributions. Um, quite frankly, and uh, this is going to be our last meeting for UNICEF in uh, the current capacity chairing the WASH Working Group. Um, it, this meeting marks the end of our UNICEF's chairmanship tenure of the WASH Working Group. Uh, we took over the uh, WASH Working Group uh, chairmanship around three and a half years ago from Viola Fo Violia Foundation, and now it's about time for new blood. It gives us great pleasure to hand over chairmanship uh, to the WASH of the WASH Working Group to Water Aid, Dr. Nurullah. We take the opportunity to, to extend our gratitude and thanks to GTFCC, GTFCC Secretariat, Philippe and Margot in particular, and the WASH Working Group for the uh, and the members, of course for the most fruitful collaboration. And we take the opportunity to wish uh, WaterAid all the best. And we underline and reaffirm UNICEF's commitment to continue our active engagement with the WASH Working Group and beyond. Uh, with that, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Dr. Nurallah. Dr. Nurallah, over to you to introduce yourself. Thank you so very much for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Nurala. Can you show yourself? Thank, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Omar, for sharing the updates and introducing me here. Dear respected members of the WASH Working Group and participating members from other groups and other participants and uh, GTFCC Secretariat colleagues, many thanks for this great opportunity and to chairing this uh, working group. WaterAid welcomes the opportunity to deepen our engagement with the GTFCC. We are pleased to join with the strong voices for WASH within the GTFCC community and the WASH working group to end cholera. Thanks to UNICEF for their leadership and support with the handover to WaterAid. WaterAid has been engaged with the GTFCC for many years, including national planning and actions in Zambia, Tanzania, and Bangladesh, and in global forums such as uh, World Health Assembly, and launch of the global roadmap to end cholera. In supporting the role of chair, WaterAid will draw on our expertise and experience with the global and national platforms through a WaterAid internal support group. This group will support my role as chair on behalf of WaterAid to ensure strong linkages across and policy and programmatic actions. Integration is one of the four aims of WaterAid's global strategy, and WASH integration is a critical component to health as well. We will continue to organize around these health priorities to find new ways to integrate WASH as a foundation of health and as a means to overcome barriers that result in the continued threat of cholera. It is a new paradigm shift that we talk about more of hand washing and hygiene improvement to confront the new threat of COVID-19 while continuing the fight for universal access to WASH as an essential element in overcoming the long-standing burden of cholera. WaterAid looks forward to leading the WASH working group at this critical time, brainstorming and collaborating with the working group members on WASH and more broadly with the other GTFCC working groups. Very much hope together with you all, our journey will be contributing to end cholera by 2030. Thank you all.